give me that. It took me seven years to realise that YouTube are never going to help you. My channel would not have taken off by itself. And that is a fact. Over 3.6 million channels that have already hit a thousand subscribers. I find more fun in taking the piss out of stuff, which is why I do what I do, than actually trying to go out of my way to change it. It's more enjoyable at this point. Like I generally have way much more fun doing this because it's been seven years and nothing's changed. You need friends. If you want to help smaller creators, go out of your way and do it. I believe we live in an ecosystem where the number that follows your status does not influence the level of your intelligence, but rather the level of influence. Today, I want to discuss small YouTube channels and if there is even a way for small YouTube channels to even exist on the YouTube platform and succeed. The video you just watched was from I'm Alex. He is my second favorite commentator. Only following Colossal is crazy. Watching his video, I did agree with a lot of points that he made. He is one of the more honest YouTubers on this site. However, I did not agree with everything he said. Every person, you and I, we will have different paths to success or to failures. We will learn in different ways. We will have different experiences. We will meet different people. We will have different skill sets, different abilities, different outlooks on certain events. And as well with this video, you might agree or disagree with what I have to say. I have watched YouTube videos for a while now, but I only recently started actually creating videos myself. And I started to see in a different light how YouTube actually works. And to succeed on this site, you need two things. One, great content. Two, exposure. Now exposure can come in many forms. I'm Alex, of course, used his friends. Uh, people like Jared and Anthony, Walt Spartans, Leon Lush, etc, etc, etc to give himself exposure, give his channel exposure, bring people in to check out his channel and the people that saw his channel and liked his channel, they subscribed. And what I'm Alex's video is about is about YouTube Rise, a, a new feature within the trending tab on YouTube. He brings out many points how it is once again another attempt by YouTube that will fail. And I don't necessarily disagree with him. I do believe that. I do believe it's probably not going to work. However, it brought up another question. If you have great content, but limited exposure by being a new YouTuber, can you actually make it? And to be brutally honest with you, I'm going to have an unpopular opinion here because I don't really believe that it is YouTube's fault as much as it is YouTube creators' fault. Remember, YouTube is a big system and they want to make cash. We all know this now and that's the way most businesses work. Most businesses in everyday life work like this. It might not be fair, it might not be what you want, but that is how it works. However, YouTube has a different angle to it. It has a different community than we would have in everyday life. We have people on this site that can literally dictate who is popular and who is not popular. Instead of just complaining about YouTube is just broken, a video and a phrase I've probably heard a thousand times by now, I'm going to ask the question, is there anything you can do to actually fix it then? Because all these YouTubers, really big YouTubers, commentators, even PewDiePie has made his comment heard about this fact. But then if it's so easy to fix it, why has nobody fixed it yet? I believe the solution to this problem lies with the YouTube creators themselves. The power lies with big YouTubers. Because there's only two ways that real change can happen in any scenario. First is when the many come together to create change. Within the platform of YouTube, I don't believe that can happen. There's too much of a divide going on. However, the second way that change can happen is if the few powerful create change. I ask you now, what would a channel, let's say for instance you have a channel that has 5,000 subscribers right now and you did a collaboration with Markiplier or Jacksepticeye, people that have tens of millions of subscribers, you would obviously get exposure. And if your content is good, if your content has value, people would want to stick around. And if you get those subscriptions, it can lead to more views. More views leads to better production. Better production leads to a better YouTube in general. It would lead to different genres being created and making this platform even more creative. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, I think animation channels, vlog channels, even drama channels, they're all great, but we need enrichment. And at the moment, small YouTube creators are limited with limited resources, and that limits their creativity to be better. And before I continue, I just wanna say this. I'm not just a small channel, I am a new channel. I'm not even close to where I want to be quality-wise. Not even close. I have a long way to go and a lot to learn. I don't expect any handouts, but I see a lot of creators that have put in the time, that have put in the effort, that has honed their craft, and yet they have not reaped the reward yet. And it could be easy to fix. Even if a YouTuber doesn't want to do a collaboration, imagine this for example. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. This is the video of the week. It's by a YouTube creator called Sunburns. He makes great content. If you wanted to go check out our video, here's the link, also the link in the description. It makes incredible content. But anyway, see you guys in the next one. Now obviously, that's a stupid outro for somebody like me. But can you imagine, just for a second, that that was PewDiePie that did that? Or Jenna Marbles? Or Ryan Higa? Or Dietrich? Or Leafy? Or Philip DeFranco? Or Boogie? I hate everything. Greater under A. I can go on and on. The subscriber count means nothing to one's intelligence. It means nothing to one's creative or logical thinking. But what it does represent is influence. That viewership and the trust that they put in your content, you have the ability to send them to other channels, to market other channels, to give exposure to other channels that really deserve it and can also enrich your subscribers' mindset and way of thinking. Another great channel is something like Charisma On Command, a channel that I think everybody should be subscribed to. It's a channel that teaches you so much and can enrich your life so much. So if you're an entertainment channel, you can entertain people, but once a week, twice a month, give that shout out. Even if you don't want to do a collaboration, we go on and on so much about how YouTube is broken. But then what can we do to fix it? What can we do from our side to fix it? Sometimes asking isn't good enough. Sometimes you actually need to do something. If you scream from the rooftops, let's make YouTube great again. It's inspiring words, but it's, it helps you. It doesn't really help anybody else. Instead of saying, let's make YouTube great again, how about giving somebody a shout out? It worked for John Scarce. I'm a personal trainer by trade. And for the first two weeks that I was at the gym, I had no clients and no income. I was scared out of my mind. And then one of the trainers there, they had a potential client that wanted to sign with them. And they came over to me and asked me, do you want to train this person? I of course said yes. And that client, he really liked the training. So then he gave me a referral to another client. And that client has given me referrals to other clients. And those clients have given me referrals to other clients. It's a snowball effect, but it has to start somewhere and somebody has to start it. We can't just complain. If we want change to happen, let's make change happen. Somebody on the floor, somebody on the ground floor, they can't do it. Somebody a little bit higher, they need to take that little risk and help somebody else out. In the case of YouTube, it's so easy. People walk past beggars on a daily basis. They ask for money, they ask for food, and people just walk past them. But imagine you just saying a few words, you just taking 10 seconds out of your video can give that, that beggar, that homeless person, the ability to go create his own income and then to create a platform for somebody else and help somebody else out. That's how you make YouTube great again. You don't just say it, you actually do it. And obviously I'm not saying that every YouTuber needs to make every video about somebody else. I understand it's a business and it's about their business. But what I'm saying is, once you've made it, you've made it. Why don't you give somebody else a helping hand? All you're doing is if you believe in their content, you give them a little bit of exposure, then the rest is up to them. And if you only care about yourself, if you only care about making money, then it's cool, then don't do anything. But don't go on camera every single time and complain how YouTube is broken again. Complain about YouTube heroes, complain about YouTube rise, and not do anything from your own end. And as much as I respect I'm Alex, and as much as 60,000 subscribers weigh, I mean, that is a large amount of subscribers. I can't even imagine having that much. It's not enough. The guys that are on top, they're the ones that can make the difference. The 1 million subscriber count 
club. That is the difference. They can change YouTube. We speak about community, but where is the actual community? We are all divided within our own, own subsections. We have the happy club over there. We have the prank club over there. We have the drama club over here. The commentary community over here. Nobody looks out for one another. And I'm just a speckle of dust in this wide variety of desert. My opinion at the moment does not matter at all. And maybe one day it will be. But for now, I ask any big YouTuber that ever watches this. You don't need to shout me out. You don't need to do anything. Just do good for somebody else. And I truly mean this when I say this. Even someone like FoosyTube or Zoe Burger, however you got what you got, you cannot really erase the past, but you can change the future. You have influence. You can influence people for the better. Instead of making these happy clappy videos saying how much you love everybody, don't say it, do it. Show your subscribers something great and help that other person out by just giving him exposure. He can do the rest. These every once in a while videos where somebody just says like, oh, you didn't give him a shout out? This is how you do a shout out. And you just shout out your friend. That's not good enough. You need to actively make an effort, like you make an effort to work hard in your videos to help other people out because that will help out the community. If you really want to help out, if you really want to make YouTube great again, that's how you do it. You don't do it by complaining. Complaining helps no one. Being 50% on the one corner and 50% on the other corner helps no one. You have to meet each other in the middle. You have to make a little bit of a sacrifice. It can't just be all about you. And you, you watching, I know there's a lot of people that can disagree with me with this one, but understand if you create content, it, it's a lot of hard work, especially the people that really try. I won't even speak about myself. I'm speaking about the people that you can see are really trying, especially with these animations. It's tough work. I'm on the ground floor and it is hard to do. It's really difficult. And then they only have like a few thousand subscribers. It's insanity. Help them out. Just give them exposure. If the content is good, they will do the rest. You can actually change the system for the better. I'll give you an example. You give a shout out. You as a big YouTuber, you give a shout out to two smaller channels that you really enjoy. And the challenge to them is they need to all, they also need to, to shout out two channels that they enjoy. It can spread some positivity throughout the community. And in so doing, it can raise the potential that the site can actually reach. People complain about Jimmy Fallon and Stephen Colbert and all those shows because they're on the training page. Who cares about the training page? PewDiePie has more power than the training page. Markiplier has more power than the training page. The question is, will they actually use it or just talk about it? Thank you so much for the comment of the week. All of you guys' comments really means a lot to me. Thank you so much for all the positive support. I'm working really hard on the channel to give it better production and I got a lot of videos lined up. Your positive comments makes it all worthwhile. And once again, if you agree or disagree with me, please leave it in the comment section. Let's have a discussion. This is as always just an opinion. See you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Peace. Yeah, living in a world overcome with greed. Not what I want, got everything I need. And I'm working hard till the day I succeed. The day I succeed. Cause I'm leaving all the pain today. Meaning what I'm trying to say. Believe.